Hi, my name is Akila Newton, and I'm the author of Movers, Shakers, History Makers, the Canadian Black History Book of Rhymes, illustrated by Danielle Mural Cox. And today I'm going to be reading this book in celebration of Black History Month. Anne Claire Cools. Canada's first black senator was Anne Claire Cools. She helped people find homes, doctors, and schools. She started this important work in 1984 and made sure people weren't hungry or poor. In North America, she was the first black female to lead as a senator and help people get what they need. Being a woman and black, your rights, in fact, are often unequal. Senator Cools was a leader and a hero who worked for the people. Barbara Howard. Barbara Howard was known for her speed running in races. As a teen, she was keen and won many medals in many places. In 1938, she dominated the British Empire Games and raised the bar, prompting Canada's Sports Hall of Fame to name her an All-Star. In 1941, the Vancouver School Board approached her, and she became Vancouver's first black teacher. For 40 years, she was revered. She could inspire and educate. Ms. Howard is a phenomenal woman that we must celebrate. Carrie Best in 1943, Carrie Best went to see a movie with her son. She saw a sign saying whites only section and she was overcome. Why does she have to sit separated from the others? She sat where she wished and she was arrested because of her skin color. She took the theater to court, but of course lost her case. So she started a newspaper and shared stories about her race. She wrote a story about Viola Desmond, whose face is on Canada's $10 bill and Carrie got the Order of Canada due to her courage and great skill. Donald H. Oliver. Donald H. Oliver's family includes a soldier and a singer of fame. Becoming a lawyer and a senator is why many know his name. He created laws to stop racism against black Nova Scotians. He didn't stop fighting until people agreed with his notions. He made sure laws were fair for anybody and everyone to take part. He volunteered for youth organizations and promoted theater and art. He had the honor of serving as a senator from 1990 to 2013. We can be thankful for the great changes he made that we've seen. Elijah McCoy. Elijah McCoy came from a family of great strength. His parents escaped slavery and traveled north a far length. They came to Canada to be free and reunited with their boy. His work earned him the nickname, The Real McCoy. At age 15, he studied engineering and then became a master. He created several inventions to help trains move faster. Throughout his life, he made 57 inventions that are still used today, including the ironing table, the sprinkler, and movement on the railway. Ferguson Arthur Jenkins. Ferguson Arthur Jenkins was skilled in three popular sports on the hockey rink, baseball diamond, and basketball courts. He played for the Harlem Globetrotters and the Chicago Cubs. He was known as Fergie while he played for two professional clubs. He is known as one of the best pitchers of all time, striking out lots of players when he was in his prime. His talent earned him a spot on the National Baseball Hall of Fame. He is one of the best Canadian baseball players to ever play the game. Gloria Leon Bayliss. Gloria Leon Bayless was a hard worker and talented nurse. She couldn't land a job because she was culturally diverse. She was denied work at a hotel due to her skin tone, so she brought the case to court with a strong backbone. It took 12 years for her to win this human rights case. She's the first black Canadian to successfully prove discrimination due to race. Gloria started a booming business that makes medical supplies. She's a role model to many and continues to inspire many lives. Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was a protector who was born into slavery. She escaped to the North and showed incredible bravery. She was part of a network of conductors who traveled secret trails, rescuing hundreds of enslaved people by using coded language of the rails. The Underground Railroad was the name of this mission that freed slaves under dangerous and terrifying conditions. She's a hero and a leader who showed kindness and strength. When fighting for justice and freedom, she would go to any length. Isaac Fills. Born into poverty didn't hold back Isaac Fills. He worked as a crop farmer and struggled to pay his bills. He later found a job in a steel factory that he worked at for 45 years, and he served in the army during World War I alongside many pioneers. In 1917, black people couldn't join the military, which wasn't right. Isaac wanted equal rights and decided to put up a fight. 
So he protested against the military recruiters' racist ways. He's the first black person celebrated with Order of Canada praise. <laughs> Jean Augustine. Jean Augustine is a woman of great honor, worth, and admiration. Canada recognizes Black History Month due to her determination. In 1995, with a unanimous vote of 350 to 0, a law was passed, making February a month that celebrates Black History Month in Canada at last. First a teacher, then a principal who earned a federal cabinet seat. She's the first black female elected that no one could defeat. A trailblazer who helped pave the way for the young and the old. She's earned countless awards and her story needs to be told. Kay Livingstone. Kay Livingstone is a celebrated black Canadian screen actress. She experienced discrimination, which unfortunately was a common practice. In 1973, she founded the Canadian Negro Women's Association and was the first to use the term visible minority in our nation. She started a Caribbean arts festival in Toronto called Carabana, where people dance in the streets while waving Caribbean flags and bandanas. She's featured on a postage stamp and honored on a plaque. She's someone who has inspired many and there was no holding her back. Lincoln Alexander. As a child, he was raised to value the power of education. Lincoln Alexander became a hero of our great nation. With a job in a law firm where different races worked together, he was chosen as Lieutenant Governor to help make Ontario better. He represented the British monarch in this official position, becoming the first black Canadian to do so while working as a politician. He encouraged young black people to follow their dreams in every single way. He's appeared on a stamp in Ontario named January 21st his day. Mary Ann Shad Carey. Mary Ann Shad Carey believed in justice and equality for all. She ran a school where black and white children learned in one hall. She was the first black female in North America to publish a newspaper. She wrote and shared stories about injustices and was a true innovator. Her groundbreaking newspaper was called The Provincial Freeman. Promoting racial and gender equality was the action plan. One of America's first black female lawyers, she soon became. She was later included in the U.S. National Women's Hall of Fame. Number 2 Construction Battalion The Number 2 Construction Battalion made history during World War I. A Canadian military unit of all black soldiers had never before been done. Based in Nova Scotia, black men were proud to serve during this war. William A. White was the only black captain to lead them like never before. The battalion saw 600 devoted black men bravely serve their nation. No combat for them, they built roads and disabled bombs for the duration. After the war ended, the battalion went their separate ways. These men brought hope to many and deserve the highest praise. Oscar Peterson. Oscar Peterson is one of the best jazz piano players of all time. He loved all forms of music, but the piano is where he would shine. His older sister introduced him to the piano and taught him every key. He practiced for long hours each day to improve his expertise. He performed with jazz legends like Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. With eight Grammy Awards and over 200 songs, his musical legacy is lifelong. Duke Ellington gave him the nickname, the Maharaja, meaning Great King. When his hands touched the piano keys, he would make the strings sing. Portia White. Portia White's mesmerizing operatic singing voice was her gift. She would fill her church with hymns that gave people's spirits a lift. She trained at a conservatory and a blessing from heaven, she was called. When newspapers wrote about her talent, readers like listeners were enthralled. Classical music from Europe and Negro spirituals are what she sang. In 1941, she performed her first concert in Toronto, which was a bang. She performed all over the world for celebrities, politicians, and royalty. Canada Post featured her on a special edition stamp to show the nation's loyalty. Benjamin Caduce Philippe Benjamin Caduce Philippe was a popular TV host for teens. He produced weekly pop culture news stories for our screens. His show titled Vox encouraged youth to fight for a cause. It was enjoyed by large audiences, earning great applause. Caduce promoted art, media, technology, as well as education. His award-winning show inspired many through the art of communication. He still works hard at spreading his message and listening to youth, so they can share their stories and discover their own truth. Rosemary Brown. Rosemary Brown moved to Montreal to study social work in university. 
Her classmates were cruel to her, but she overcame adversity. She moved to Vancouver and worked for the Legislative Assembly. As the first black woman elected, she was fearless, never trembly. She later became the Chief Commissioner of the Ontario Human Rights Commission. She dedicated so much to her community and had a lot of ambition. An amazing woman who received the Order of British Columbia in 1995. In 1996, the Order of Canada was awarded to her for her devotion and drive. Stanley G. Grizel. Stanley G. Grizel was an activist and civil rights supporter. For many years, he worked as a sleeping car porter. Porters helped passengers travel comfortably through the night, a great job for black people at the time, though they weren't treated right. In 1950, he organized Toronto's first Black History Month celebration. The first black citizenship judge in Canada, he did so much for our nation. A Toronto laneway is named after him and even an East End Park. In his fight for the rights of black Canadians, he left an indelible mark. Tessa McWatt. Tessa McWatt is a storyteller with her novels in many bookstores. At a young age, she knew writing would help open doors. She wrote best-selling books that grabbed the attention of the reader. She got her master's degree in literature and became an artistic leader. Nominated for the Governor General's Award for her book, Dragon's Cry, her writing is innovative and her talent can't be denied. She teaches creative writing classes to the next generation. Her novels are a gift to this world and deserve a standing ovation. Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad led enslaved people to the North. Conductors guided them to safety, taking many trips back and forth. Passengers, also known as cargo, were the people who escaped to safe houses or depots where their freedom would take shape. From America to Canada, the journey to freedom was long. To avoid being captured, they hid secret messages in song. It took strength and courage for the network to design these routes. People brave enough to risk their lives for a new life took root. Viola Desmond. Viola Desmond was a fearless entrepreneur and activist with many incredible accomplishments, too many to list. She went to the theater and sat in the white only section, but was forced to leave and jailed. Her rights had no protection. This was the biggest case of racism in Canada that ever made it to court. People were upset that she was treated so unfairly with such little support. In 2010, the government of Nova Scotia publicly apologized for their actions. She's now featured on the $10 bill, which was met with loving reactions. Willie O'Ree. Willie O'Ree was the first black man to play in the NHL. When he first stepped on the ice, his heaven quickly turned to hell. Partially blind in one eye as a result of being hit with a puck, he faced racism during games but never got down on his luck. The Boston Bruins recruited him to play for their team, and when he signed his contract, he realized a lifelong dream. He was awarded the Order of Canada for being one of the best, and he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame fully blessed. Director X. Julian Christian Lutz was known as Director X by many. He's directed many music videos and has accomplished plenty. He has a love for all things art like graffiti, comic books, and hip hop. Having worked with well-known musicians sent him straight to the top. He's worked with Rihanna, Justin Bieber, Sean Paul, and Drake, with a career spanning two decades filled with many big breaks. He inspired Operation Prefrontal Cortex, a Toronto organization. Its mission is to combat gun violence through mentoring and meditation. Yolan James. Yolan James was a lawyer who worked hard and studied intensely. She's the first black female elected to Quebec's National Assembly. She made history becoming Quebec's first black cabinet minister, also the youngest to have this role, though many people dismissed her. She represented an area of the West Island in Montreal, making sure important decisions would include and benefit all. She can now be heard on the radio or seen on local TV. Yolande is a fierce leader that the world needs to see. Zenena Akande. Zenena Akande is the first black woman in Ontario's Legislative Assembly. She was a teacher and a principal whose students loved her immensely. Based in Toronto, working with many community groups and diverse people, it is her mission to ensure that everyone's treatment is fair and equal. She worked closely with the Urban Alliance on Race Relations, which allowed her to build strong community foundations. From education to politics, she's a leader and a change maker. She's a Canadian of Caribbean roots who's a real groundbreaker. 
Thank you for listening, and I'm wishing you all a very happy Black History Month.